Hey, what's going on, guys? So I know I already uploaded a short little snippet on the Meta Human Creator because it was actually the early access was released about an hour ago, so you can request access here now. Just so you know, though, the servers are actually overloaded. So for me, I didn't even get in there, so I'm going to have to wait to do the actual app tutorial later when I'm able to get in there. But you can, however, request for the access here, and if you download and update Quixel Bridge, they actually release 50 MetaHuman creators. Now, I already have this open, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so with your Quixel Bridge open, if you go to the MetaHumans tab, if you don't see this, that means you don't have the update. Make sure you update it first. And like I said before, like a month ago, I th really thought they were going to go this way because this is how they did Mega Scans. When they acquired Mega Scans, they put it in Bridge, and I was like, they're probably going to end up doing Bridge as well. And here it is 50 meta humans available for you guys to play around with. They went from 2 to 50 for you guys to take a look at. And I'm telling you, man. This is some this is some exciting stuff right here. So uh, you can actually download these. You can change the resolution here if you want. So I already downloaded one because this guy just stuck out to me. This guy just who he just means business. So I downloaded him. And what this is gonna do is if you have Mega Scans and Bridge already installed in your computer. I'm going to open up a new project here. All right, so I have a project open here, and I'm going to show you to get these started. I already downloaded this. All I have to do is export this, and this is actually going to go straight to my Unreal Engine 4 because I have Megascans plugin installed. You can see importing AOI. Now, if you created a new project, though, you might have to turn on some plugins because the MetaHuman, as you can see right here, missing project. We're just going to enable all that and probably restart our project so we can go back in there. So hopefully... Even though you guys can't request for the actual character creator tool, you at least have 50 different meta humans to play around with, which is very exciting. So I'm going to enable all this, and it's going to compile some shaders right now. Uh, a couple of notes as well, whenever you are downloading the meta humans, make sure you take a look at the, um, the agreement, because you can only use this in Unreal Engine 4, and make sure you're reading that correctly, okay? Because even though it gives you a Maya file, you have to be very careful on what you're using this for because you might be breaking some rules against this meta human creator. We don't want to ruin it for everyone. So make sure you're reading that. But for me, I'm going to be using this in Unreal Engine 4, which is really good. Additionally, if your computer is prehistoric, we're talking like, you know, like integrated graphics card. Just be very careful because this is high quality stuff here. Um you might not necessarily be able to get all the way up to LOD zero, uh, which is the highest quality for these meta humans, but you can still try and see if you can add this to your project. I'm just letting you know because whenever you look at this character here on my screen, you're going to see how incredible these guys look. So let's go back while this is compiling shaders. Let's, let's take a look at uh, the different faces we have. And as you can see, there's a couple of Different color hoodies now too, and I believe in the character creator, whenever we get in there, hopefully they have some more options, but this is cool. I mean, I'm looking at characters here that are just waiting for a story, you know, this is really amazing stuff. And I think his name is Taro. Okay, cool. So I didn't know their names before, but it looks like they actually gave them names. Yuri, Zen, and there's a couple of kids there as well. So that's going to be interesting. All right, so let's go. All right, so we have it, and I have to restart. Okay, so we have here is the project. If you go back to AOE, or I don't know how to pronounce that name. I butcher that for sure. It's pretty much the same setup as the beta humans, or meta humans, the first generation. If I double-click this here, and it should load up the BP. Now, one of the plugins you're going to need for this is the Groom plugin. And as you can see, it's going to load some more shaders. 2,204 shaders. Let's let that load, and I'm just going to drag and drop it here. Reduce our camera speed here. And so you can kind of see a build. And some of the hair, some of the groom hair with these meta-human characters look fantastic. And you can switch them around in the character creator. You don't have to stick with the same one. But what the 50 that they allowed you guys to get, those are all pre-mades. All right, this is the stuff that they made for you guys to play around with, similar to the first two that we got last month. But the character creator tool will actually let you customize your own.
if you can get in there. <laughs> I signed up like right away because I got a, I received a heads up from Matt and he posted a link. I was like, oh, let me sign up. But as soon as I signed up, it was already overloaded. So, but you know, I'll wait for it and then we'll get in there to play around with it. Hopefully sometime today, if not tomorrow. So I'm going to let this compile shaders for a little bit and then we'll get right back to it. All right, guys. So it looks like our shaders are compiled and here is the new character you got. Some tight pants, nice shoes. Oh man, look at that. That is actually pretty stylish. I would wear something like that if I can fit in it. But yeah, look at this thing. It's if you take a look at his LOD, let's go to level of mesh, LOD coloration. Now, like I said, I don't know if you're gonna be able to push LOD zero in your system. So if I back out here, you're gonna see that he's gonna change. That's LOD one red. And then he's just going to look crappy and crappy and crappy. See, if I go right here, so you're going to see he looks really different. But as you push in, his le level of detail is going to change. And this is LOD0 right here. Look at that groom asset. That, oh my gosh. That is just insane. Like, having this in your toolkit right now as a filmmaker... Not even a game developer. This is, look at this, sunlight, sunset. Just like that, that itself tells a story. But yeah, guys, I just want to show you guys how to uh, import that character from Quixel Bridge because they are using Quixel Bridge. Uh, so you can import it and then, so you can export it from Quixel Bridge and import it in Unreal Engine 4. So you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. Maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it. 